yeah, I uh, I just got back from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. It's fucking uh, sweaty. <laughs> it's thick shit there. I, I mean, it's just like you just sweat. Like there's no reason to take a fucking shower. <laughs> you're like, hey, you just you know, did you just go for a run? Nah, I got out of the car. I, it's, uh, it's fucking sweaty. I um, it's been hot here too. It's like score. I mean, it's yeah, like. I feel bad for my kid. I got a, a two-year-old daughter. She's like, let's go outside. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, honey, daddy's fat. Uh, <laughs> that shit ain't happening. Um, <laughs> gonna have to wait for the moon. Um, <laughs> now, nah, but I, uh, I flew back from uh, Jacksonville. I made a mistake. Um, I guess I, I committed a crime on uh, the plane. I'll just admit it here. I, uh, I, I tried to pet a service dog. <laughs> My bad. I, I, you know, I, you ever get that? I mean, it's just so fuck. Like, I'm sorry. You have a dog. I'm gonna fucking pet him, all right? I mean, it's a dog. <laughs> you wanna pet the dog? Whoa, 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 yeah. Don't pet Rusty. He's on duty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, all right? I, I already got what I came for, all right? <laughs> like, just because your dog wears a vest, he's not a fucking secret service agent, all right? <laughs> fucking, relax. fucking dog, I mean, <laughs> sorry, cuddles can't play right now. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't realize, I thought because, it, <laughs> I thought because your dog was wagging his tail at me and uh, his name is Cuddles and he's a fucking poodle. And I, I might have to... I might have license to say hello, but yeah, my bad. I mean, really, it's like, if it's that big a deal to you, I mean, like, I know, I know I'm not supposed to pet a seeing eye dog, but I've been doing it for fucking 40 years, because, <laughs> hey, fuck it, not one owner has heard me do it yet, so, um... <laughs> a problem, hire a person to fucking walk you around. I mean, nobody, you ever see anybody trying to pet a fucking bodyguard or a nurse, do you? I, I mean, like, can I pet your nurse? Thanks, yeah. <laughs> Look how soft her scrubs are. I mean, it, it's not, just fucking relax, man. And I mean, it sucks, because I, you know, everywhere I go with my, my kid, like I said, my daughter's two, she, my daughter has like, it's like she has a physical addiction to pet dogs. I mean, she goes nuts. Like, if we're out anywhere, like, if she sees a dog in an airport or at the mall or fucking attacking somebody, I mean, she just, she goes into a puppy seizure. She's like, puppy, puppy, puppy. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Now we got to go over there. And I mean, it really is, uh, you know, it's not fun. I mean, because it's like, you know, because now I got to, you know, I got to approach people all the time. It's like, <laughs> can she pet your dog? No. <laughs> Why do you bring them outside? I, I mean, don't you realize there's people outside, you fucking asshole? I mean, because see, my daughter's still blissfully unaware that the whole world's a fucking dickhead. So, um, <laughs> it's like, sorry. Yeah, they won't let you pet him. Um, he said you're the dog will bite. I don't know why he's at Children's Hospital. But, um, <laughs> I, I just, I can't stand that shit, I, uh, you know, I mean, and I mean, this is one of those speeches about how society's crumbling, all right, because I think, I think it's always been shitty, it just takes on different fucking smells, um, <laughs> and, like, I hate those old bastards who, you know, who act like, you know, their generation had it all figured out, and then these kids showed up and ruined their utopia, I mean, it's fucking... <laughs> It's, a, it's like, really, you know, you like, yes, kids are douchebags. I get it. But it, when, when you were a kid, it's no, it's no more than or less than when you were a kid. I mean, when you were a kid, you were a douchebag, too. I mean, you just <laughs> didn't notice because you were too preoccupied with being a fucking douchebag. So, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, sorry, I realize that there's, there's, there's things in, out there in the world like war and poverty and starvation, but none of those things really give me a boner. So, uh... uh <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pass on that list of some terrible fucking music. <laughs> I hate 
those guys. In my, back in my day, shut the fuck up. <laughs> back in my day, back in my day, we knew, where these kids, what, these kids don't value the uh, work anymore. Anyway, that's why I was here. Back in my day, we knew the value of a hard day's work. Really? Isn't this country built on the back of fucking slaves? I, I mean, I think the value of a hard day's work back then was just however much it cost to buy a kidnapped family. Um, so, thanks for all your sacrifices, Earl. Shut up. In my day, we respected our elders. Oh, is that why women couldn't vote? I, I mean, <laughs> or does the word elders only include your douchebag fucking grandpappy? I mean, <laughs> pardon me, sir, but you can go fuck your day. That's what you can go do. Um, <laughs> you know, my, I mean, you know, I always hear that word. Oh, in my day, we, we served in the military. And we were proud of it. Well, you got me there. Like, I, my dad, uh, you know, he was fortunate enough not to get drafted into Vietnam, but he said he still had to report for fucking uh, basic training after high school. I was like, wow, <laughs> 50 years later, I won't report for fucking jury duty. You know, like, <laughs> far be it like my dad to throw on fucking push-ups on top of that shit. I, uh, yeah, I won't even set an alarm. <laughs> To perform my civic duty at 8 a.m.? <laughs> if it pleases the court, you can kiss my dick, Judge. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just, it really, you know, I mean, I guess if it really came down to it, if it really, you know, if it was, uh, you know, if, it, if I just, if I had to report, you know, if I had to report for fucking military service, I guess, I would if I if I had to go to basic training, but they better have an extra bed for my for my dog in his fucking vest, cause uh, <laughs> I got a service animal, um, cause I'm a modern day little bitch. Um, <laughs> now I you know I uh, yeah we have we actually have three dogs at home. Uh, we have two older dogs, and then we just got a puppy, cause uh, cause with the two year old, my older dogs are like, look, I. I can't handle all this shit, all right? I, I mean, I like attention, but to a degree, all right? That, that kid fucking pulls my tail and shit, and, uh, you know, it's like they hold back. They're, like, looking at me like, look, she could get bit right now. I'm not going to do it, but I, I'll bite the kid, all right? And fucking do something about this shit. We got her, yeah, we got, we got her a puppy, and, uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I figured out I'm not really good at, uh, um, Raising a, a, a dog that uh, behaves. <laughs> yeah, I always think that's creepy anyway with people with fucking good dogs. <laughs> like they go, they stay and they do. <laughs> like you ever go to somebody's house and their kid calls them sir? <laughs> it's fucking, it's awkward. <laughs> go get your room cleaned up. Yes, sir. Does he work here or something? I, uh, <laughs> Parents, they have good dogs. First time I was at their house, I pet one of their dogs, sitting on a couch by one of their dogs. I'm like, come on up here, buddy. He's like. <laughs> like, now come on up here, buddy. <laughs> Her mom's like, oh, they're not allowed on the furniture. I'm like, oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> Am I allowed on the furniture? I guess I should have asked. <laughs> used to my house where if I get up from my chair I gotta fucking buy it back with like snossages and shit you know like and the dogs know it too they're like look we don't want an incident any more than you do all right so just, just cough up the fucking treats let's go <laughs> they're dicks man you could tell my wife really wanted to have kids uh before she was pregnant she was, she was putting she was putting clothes on the dogs <laughs> get home, they're wearing fucking sweaters, you know. They didn't have any vests, um, but uh, there was no official wear, but, uh, you know. Like, I, I've always thought, I've thought about that, too. Like, I could probably, it probably wouldn't be that hard to register my dog, you know, as a service animal if I really wanted to be a dick. <laughs> but I, just, I couldn't imagine looking people in the eye at, with, you know, while my dog has an official fucking service vest uniform on and, 
he's dragging me around to fucking chase birds and <laughs> eat grass and vomit. You know, <laughs> like, he's a service dog. <laughs> He's just straight. He's here. He's here for my well-being. Barney, get out of the fucking trash right now! <laughs> You're at work for God's sake, you know, bastard. Um, now, I, uh, I, I, I gotta go back on the road. I gotta go over to, to Houston next week. Um, you know, I um, traveling in general just uh, it gets old. You know. I really can't, I can't stand uh, flying. Whenever they invent teleporting, I'm gonna be at the front of the fucking line for that shit. <laughs> I don't care if it hurts. <laughs> you ready to go, Mr. Guy Barulo? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. All right, I'm in Houston, all right. It works out great. I mean, my asshole's bleeding, but you know what? It kind of was anyway, so let's dance. Um, <laughs> too far, John, too far. Um, but you know, I uh, you know I don't trust myself. Like I don't, I can't drive as much as I used to. Like I drove, uh, I had to drive from here to San Francisco um, a few months ago. I'm 41 now. When I was younger, I had to make a long drive. It's like fuck it, I'll, you know, just roll down the windows, turn up the radio, let's fucking do it. <laughs> now, 41, it's like fuck it, I'll go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> you ever wake up behind the wheel? It's not some place you're gonna want to visit again. Because uh, there's really no way to play that shit off, you know? Like, if you fuck up in traffic normally and cut somebody off or something, it's like, oh shit, sorry. I'm an idiot. You go to sleep and drift across six lanes, you know? <laughs> wake up like, oh shit, I was asleep. <laughs> I was in deep fucking slumber about to kill us all, but now I'm good now. I'm good. I, I was, I, I, I gotta go in a minute. I was, um, I rented a car in Texas. It was in Dallas, Texas. I, uh, um, was there a few trips ago. They, um, I don't know if you've ever driven in Dallas. I don't fucking uh, recommend it. But, uh, I was, uh, I was on my way to the, one of the shows, and they had a sign in the middle of the freeway. Um, it was one of those Amber Alert type signs that said, said 858 highway deaths in Texas in 2017 alone. Be smart. Don't text and drive. Don't. And then something else. I had to look back at the fucking road by then. But uh, I, uh, <laughs> I think half those deaths are caused by that fucking sign, aren't they? I, mean, I have a freeway sign with a fucking paragraph on it. Get to the point. I'm going 80 miles an hour, like, come on, page three. Ah, shit. <laughs> I got to go. You guys have been great. Thank you. Um, so, welcome to the recap of the first ever uh, live caps featuring a uh, pissed off little girl. <laughs> um, the uh, So, yeah, that was... um. Uh, what number is this? 40. This is 40, even? I believe so. Wow, look at, look at that. So we kicked off uh, number 40. Uh, the four, the, 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 yeah, this, um, <laughs> it's been, what, over, it's been three, almost three and a half years. So, we're, we're, anyway, we're kicking off the 40, uh, the numbers, 40. In the, I was going to say decade, but that doesn't make any numbers? fucking difference. And, um, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, anyway, we, we decided to do a live shoot, so there was extra pressure um, involved with uh, my set. Like, I couldn't just <laughs> put out another fart in the wind. Um, not that any of them are. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was like, I kind of was, I, I actually wrote it last night as opposed to this afternoon. <laughs> so that was good. And, um, you know, it it, it it came out okay. I I. I I flubbed a spot in the middle where I knew, like, I, because all these are just trying to remember everything, like, trying to keep everything that I wrote in my head. I actually, like, I showed you in the car, like, I had stickers I put on my shoe tops that I actually had notes, <laughs> but my eyes aren't good enough to see what the fuck I wrote, so, um, that, uh, that was out, that was out the window, yeah, right, I'd be like, uh, okay, it seems to say, uh, dogs, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I, um, but so yeah, I dropped a part in the middle of it because the part about registering my dog 
as a service animal was actually supposed to go in the middle, but I forgot. So um, I slipped right into that other part, which I mean, you know, that's kind of, I guess, where um, instincts take over and you just sort of take what you wrote and perform it versus just trying to memorize it, which is, uh, you know, kind of how it should be anyway. It should be sort of organic. Uh, so, and and I felt like there was, the crowd starting to pick up, like, with, you know, uh, all the online stuff and the promotions. Like, I think I felt more like the audience was uh, at least halfway my audience uh, here. Um, and they came to see, yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it kind of felt... Uh, like they wanted me to do well, which was good. Um, <laughs> instead of like, who the fuck are you and why are you recording this? So um, yeah, it's uh, it, it was good. Yeah, so, if you're yeah. in the LA area and you ever want tickets to these shows, just call the Ice House and tell them that you want to be on the Kaplan's guest list for the month. Yeah, do it. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we'll be here. I was trying to watch it between the U because it was streaming live on YouTube and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then I was also in the green room watching it on the TV there and dealing with her who just discovered Oreos for the first night. So she, I was trying to keep the Oreo jar out of her hands and watch on all three. And um, it was fun. <laughs> I'm a bit sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. No, it was, it was cool. I, I, hey, yeah. I, I love it when someone was watching on Facebook and when the camera started jiggling, someone was like, is Jamie behind the camera? I'm like, thanks, of course. <laughs> when something fucks up, it's my fault. <laughs> no, but I'm that's listening. funny that they think you're that the <laughs> omnipresent, though, that like you're, I actually have you running cameras. Uh, I mean, it, it's. Uh, I'm a baby wrangler. But yeah, well, is there, actually, we have a, um, we have a new crew here with Andrew and Gabriel, um, so. Well, they're the whole, not a new crew. They've well, they're a new crew. A while, well, they, well, they're actually the guys who uh, uh, um, are, 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 are really bringing Cartoon Comic to life, uh, if you guys know anything about that. If you haven't, then you just haven't watched this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but if, if, if uh, yeah, they, these guys are, you know, they're, they're my multi-talented, uh, um, <laughs> they're the, they're team cap, man. They're the guys <laughs> who are actually making this shit um, watchable. Like Everything, I, you know, I just, I just, I come up with stupid ideas and they uh, <laughs> actually make them uh, um, worth watching. So I appreciate it, guys. Um, but yeah, that's so, so the whole thing's having, got a new vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, and you haven't talked about the, our third dog before. No, I haven't. I haven't talked about Mochi, uh, who Mochi is, is quickly becoming uh, my dog. Um, <laughs> she is, because uh, she's fucking scared of everything and everybody. She's Madden's dog. Yeah, she she's Madden's, Madden's dog, everybody. but yeah, she does. Yeah, she trusts Madden more than anybody. I haven't cause... even told you this story because um, I took her to the vet the other day, and that's why she hates me. But you she were... took a shit all over you, didn't she? Again? Well, yeah, and that's kind of the story <laughs> that I didn't tell you was because I told you that I was gonna go to the vet and come right home with her. But once I got out of the house without the toddler, I got really excited about all the possibilities of what things I could do. <laughs> it's a whole so, new world. I know. So I went to the store that I've been wanting to go to, and it's a thousand degrees out, so I couldn't leave the puppy in the car, obviously. So Good. We'll get popcorn at home. Um, so I parked, get the dog out. She's petrified of the leash. So I carry her into the store, yeah. and right of the way, the lady's like, is that a service dog? And I'm like, yep, definitely. She's six months old, petrified of everything. <laughs> And so I'm sitting there claiming my service dog, and she shits all over me as I'm holding her. Shits down me all over the floor. And I, I didn't tell you where it was because I told you I was coming right home. But I told you, yeah, my, my service dog shit in my arms. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm i sorry that you were telling your uh, dog shit story and uh, your kid was shitting all over that story. So you just you can't win, dear. I'm sorry. Um, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, so yeah, this set. I hope it. I hope it was worth being the first uh, live one. I hope it. Uh, you know, I did. Uh, um, you know, I hope I wrote a set that was relatively entertaining. You guys think? Yeah. Well, it's what I, I, I thought I would blame you guys I mean, if if I had the chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. See, not my fault. That's how professional we are, people. <laughs> oh. Oh. It would have, trust me, it would have died too. With the Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it was, it was new. Kings will get worked out and we'll, 
we'll do better next I think, time. Well, well, yeah, well, we always aim to do better next time. <laughs> but uh, I think all in all, it was uh, it was a pretty decent Kaplan. It was, it was worthy of being the first live one. Yeah. Um, if, if, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys think so. Please uh, uh, tell us in the comments if uh, you don't. don't. You don't think, actually, I won't see it. If you know, I'm afraid of your comments, but uh, yeah, and I get I get them filtered them. through her, and then yeah, all the, yeah. Right we she just gets on, upset. I yeah, I saw that some guy said that like how dumb I was, and I'm like, oh. so, yeah, I mean, there was somebody who said that that you were they didn't like you, but uh, you know that that you, but they said that that women should stop trying to be funny. So it's like you should really consider the source because it's like look. If you don't like a, an individual person, like whether it's her or it's me or whoever, but then you decide to blame their entire gender for whatever they're doing, that's, it, it's just, you know what, it's, it, you're not really salvageable. So you know what, I don't give a fuck what you said. You, you know, uh, uh, she's the funniest woman I've ever met um, because she, well, I, hold on. She's the funniest woman I've ever met. <laughs> she's now second, but still, I think we can both agree on that because she thinks she's funnier than me. So she's the funniest human we've ever known. But and she uh, has to poop on you, you know, head. and I know, I know most parents don't rave about their children, but <laughs> I do. Um, but yeah, so I did okay. You ready to go, baby? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. See you guys. See, See you next yeah. month. She's got a shirt. Oh, yeah. It's a new shirt. Look at her third. New shirt. Yeah, nice, I have huh? a I have a tattoo parlor in my bathroom, and um, <laughs> yeah, we do temporary tattoos. Duck, yeah. duck, man. duck man, and we watch Howard the Duck, cause that's a duck man. Oh.